Hi, and welcome back to another episode of RCT3. This one's going to be Cosmic Crags. We're at the apprentice level. I must achieve $100 at any time and get a minimum uh, value on my park of $20,000. That shouldn't be too hard considering what, how way it's laid out so far. I got the nice little strip right here. I should be able to uh, line up enough rides just along the strip there to meet that first criteria. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hire a mechanic, even though I don't have any rides. Hire a mechanic, get him all set up, and uh, hire a um, janitor. we got quite a few people in the park with actually nothing to do, so that's kind of funny for the moment here, but uh, it's really kind of nuts at the same time. So we're going to get give me uh, some people working in the park, and then we're going to start building the park. I hope everybody's been enjoying the the series, I uh, try to make it as good and as fun as possible. I can see I got a loan of 20000 but uh, I've only got 10000 in the bank. So the other twenty or 10000 must have been spent. It couldn't have been spent on just building those, uh, those walkways. Those don't cost that much. So <laughs> I don't know what the case may be on that one. But uh, either way. So we're going to readjust our research here to suit uh, my needs for the scenario. We don't need any water rides. We'll go, we like uh, thrill rides. Uh, those usually are the money bringers. So let's take a look at what we got there. We've got uh, four different types of coasters. We won't be building any coasters right now. We're going to start we're going, we can meet our needs of the park with uh, just what's up here. And the selection of rides is not too awful great, but uh, I can deal with them. Planetarium, hey, that, that should be a, a ride that fits right in here because this is, you know, supposed to be alien, Mars, or whatever the case may be. So... And we're going to go sci-fi walkway. And we'll get this bad boy open. Raise the price some. And change the maintenance schedule. Not too bad so far. And we're going to go with the 3D cinema over here on the opposite side. That looks good. Gonna have to put the exit there. Oh, I gotta gotta make it slope down. There we go. That works. And then we're gonna add in the queue line. And it fits rather nice. Get this bad boy opened up so we can make some money. And raise. 
raise the price. And we're going to get us a information booth right there at the entranceway for everybody. Of course, we're going to raise up the prices. So far, so good. We've got 170 people in the park. The park rating is fairly good. I've got 8,000 cash to build build the park they put us in a restroom get it open people got to go to the bathroom now at this end of the park there's nothing down here right now so we're going to add some stalls at a cookie place of course once again with my policy give them all the amenities raise the price And synchronize it for future builds are looking pretty darn good and we got us a space shake something cool to drink on a hot day We got us a couple stalls out the far end. UFO balloons. Who doesn't want a UFO balloon? Get that one up and running. Okay, so far so good. Gonna need us an ATM. Want to keep the people in the park, keep them spending. We'll zoom out there, take a look at how things are going. And we're going to add in a uh, UFOs. That's good. Right there. Who doesn't want to ride on a UFO? Build the exit. Lay down the path. And then get a cue going. And we'll be hot diggity dog. There we go. And that leaves a little bit of space in front of it to put some stalls or some scenery if I need to. Of course, we're going to raise the price. We're only going to go for 20 minutes and it's time to want to overwork my guy because right now I've only got one mechanic. So it's getting to the point I'm going to have to hire another mechanic here real soon. some lighting because it's going to get dark that's pretty good that's going on pretty nicely there man I think it's time to add a gravitron 
We'll get its pathways and cues up and get it running. Park's coming along really good at this point in time. Now we get the cube. Very good. Also leaving some room for either scenery or some stalls. And we're going to raise the price just a little bit more. Just a little bit. We're going to give it a 10 minute uh, repair. And we'll have, definitely have to hire somebody else here real soon. We're just going to call it the Gravitron. And flying saucers. All good so far, all good. Time to hire another janitor. Give him a raise. Send him to school. Right now, because of the size of the park, Janitor's going to do a free roam. No need to assign him an area because the area is not that big. And we're going to train this uh, mechanic as well. And we're going to give him a raise. It's looking looking pretty good right now. Got a, a nice long queue going in the uh, 3D movie, and also at the Gravitron. The Planetarium is not so popular, and the uh, flying saucers seem to be doing okay. Let's see what we got over here for some scenery. Won't fit there. This is kind of cool though. There we go, we'll put that up there. That's kind of neat. Gives an added bit of flavor. To the park. And we're going to add us uh, another thrill ride at the zipper. And I think that's going to be a good place for it. There we go. That looks good. It looks real good. Add another piece of padding. And there we go. We got the queue and the path exit done. Raise up the price just a little bit. Raise up the maintenance to 10 minutes. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, when I was a little kid, I, I rode the zipper, and I l looked at it for years, and I thought, oh, man, that's going to be so cool. I want to ride it. Well, when I did, it scared the dickens out of me. I was hollering and screaming so loud they had to stop the ride to let me off. I was uh, I was spending the summer with my aunts in Illinois, and uh, there was a carnival down at the shopping center, and they wanted something to do. And they asked me if I wanted to go to the carnival, and I said, well, sure. So we 
gathered up their kids and, and me, threw us all in the station wagon, and we went down there and spent the afternoon at the carnival. Had a good time until I rode the zipper. After that, I got off with a headache, and I was I didn't puke, but I have a feeling if I had uh, <laughs> if I had eaten something prior to riding it, I would have puked. But uh, that was the first and only time that I ever rode the zipper. Interesting story. Take it for what it's worth. Throw some uh, plants, flora and fauna. Try to make sure that everything looks nice. That whopping twenty thousand dollar loan. Phew, that's that's going to be a it's going to be a killer. Definitely gonna be a killer, but the park value right now is uh, eighteen thousand one hundred ninety-five. I got to make it to twenty thousand. So I've already got the monthly income for the rides. I made a hundred bucks already for it, so that's good. So all I got to do is just do a little bit more. Maybe add uh, some more flora and fauna. Maybe a couple more stalls. Maybe another ride. But right now I don't like to duplicate rides if I don't have to. So really don't have anything I want to put on there. Yeah, the jelly copters and that's going to be kind of expensive and it's going to take up a lot of space. I'm going to up my thrill rides and shops and facilities, take general rides down and push junior rides up just a notch. And we're going to do some fast forward here. Park's looking pretty good right now. It's it's pretty looking pretty good. We do some fast forward, see if we can't get us a um, another uh, thrill ride. Add in a space shakes. Hey, that's that's all we did right there. That's what we needed right there. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. See you next time.